All right, so we're gonna get started with our second session with Slate today. Again, he's a rescue that I'm gonna be fostering, working with him. I'm working with Heart of uh, Phoenix Horse Rescue, one of the largest rescues in the world. They work with a lot of horses that are abandoned, neglected, abused, wild horses that they gather up. But he's one of these horses that hasn't been handled much. He's 10 years old, he's a stallion. He's kind of been handled like cattle up until uh, now. In fact, when he came here, backed up a trailer, put some chutes up, and led him into uh, this pen where he's been since he uh, came in uh, the other day. So first session, we introduced the pole to him, okay? And so we used that pole to touch him and get him used to vibrations and movements to touch his feet. He has had a history of kicking out and also charging and biting and coming after you. So with a horse like this, it takes particular care, but I really wanna show you how you don't have to be super invasive and back a horse into a corner and put them into a position where they feel like they have no choice but to attack. Doesn't mean that we're not gonna see some of that behavior. In fact, I'm, I'm most certain that we will, but we definitely wanna be as gradual as possible so that one, we can stay safe in the process and we can build his confidence. So with an aggressive horse like this, there is always a balance of one, you know, he, he can't be caught, he can't be haltered. So I need to be able to draw him in, but at the same time, I need to have firm boundaries so he doesn't come over the top of me, he doesn't charge me, he doesn't do something uh, dangerous towards me. So uh, we started out with the pole. Uh, we're also gonna introduce the rope to him uh, today and do some rope work. Again, this isn't your traditional rope him, throw him down, sack him out type of work. This is gonna be a gradual process as well. Let me set my rope over here for now. And I'm gonna take my pole and we talked about this last session, I believe, but I'm not gonna ease into this with him. While I wanna be gradual, right? Like if I put pressure, I'll see how he does, and then I'll add some more. I really wanna get him used to me just coming on in here with the stick, and he might kinda of dance around a little bit, move around. I'm gonna to touch his back leg. You see, he's kinda of kicking there. And again, I'm just gonna kinda of touch him with it. And what he's gonna learn is that when he kicks, there the stick doesn't go away. Not until he relaxes and settles down. What a pony, good boy. So I'm gonna come in again. He's kicking less. He's still kicking, but less, right? Good, good boy. So that's better. And you see how I can do this from a safe distance. I mean, this is like a 20 foot pole, right? But there's no point in me getting down in there and grabbing his feet and wrangling him when I can do this safely for both him and I by adding pressure, good boy, what a gentleman. That was really good there. So this time I'm gonna come from the other side, from back behind him. Good. Oh, what a gentleman, really, really good. So you can see how he settled down a lot quicker today than he did when we worked with him yesterday. And we're gonna see in a, in a little bit, yesterday I talked about this a little bit, there's one type of tipping in where he'll tip that nose into me and he'll kind of soften into me. I love that, I'm gonna really reward him for that. But there's another type of tipping in, and he hasn't done it yet, where he'll kind of root his nose up at me, like, come on, buddy, I dare you. And so I want to be aware of the differences there, and you should be too if you're working with an aggressive horse, not to mistake attention or engagement when it really is kind of more of an aggression or challenging tendency. And when we get to that point, I'll show you how we address that. But I'm going to come back in here again, and this time I'm going to take my stick, I'm going to lift it up way up over him here. What a pony, what a gentleman. I'm gonna drop it over him, good boy. And way up over here, and I'm just dropping it on the top of that panel there. Good, I'm gonna stick it under the panel and add some pressure there, good boy. I'm gonna kinda walk it back and forth. And so you can really see with the work that we did the other day, he's learned that, hey, if I stand still, <laughs> this stuff goes away. So let me just stand still here. So I'm gonna keep the pressure here. I'm pleased with that. I'm gonna walk my way up over his ears. Let's see how he does. A lot of horses hate this. Good boy, what a gentleman. We're gonna come back over again. I'm intentionally touching him with it, seeing how he does. Good, very good. Because in a little bit, I'm going to introduce him to the rope. And that rope is gonna be touching his ears, over his face. I want him to be comfortable with all that. These are the looks that I'm talking about. These are challenging looks. This is like, hey, you keep this up or if you add too much more pressure, I'm telling you, stay back, okay? And so this is not something that I'm rewarding. In fact, I'm gonna keep the pressure up until that kind of, hey, don't come in my space until that goes away. 
You can tell too while I'm working with him, even though I'll look at you guys at the camera occasionally, especially when I'm further at a distance. When I'm this close, I don't wanna let my guard down, okay? I wanna make sure that I'm attentive to him. I don't wanna turn my back to him because he can feel that and that's gonna invite him to come and challenge or push or, or come after me, okay? Especially when I have him kind of backed into, literally backed into a corner here, right? So I wanna make sure that I'm aware of that and that I set myself up to be safe. So I wanna wait for that kind of head turning to go away. Or if he does turn that head towards me, I want it to be nice and soft and polite. How do I know the difference? When he's being nice and soft and polite, he'll lower that head. He's also not rooting that nose out. He'll kind of maintain contact to connect, right? But right now he's like, hey, get back, push back, push back. I'm not gonna reward that. There, good. Good boy.